Floyd Mayweather. Let's talk about this while having a Floyd Mayweather and yourself. How'd that come around? Because Floyd's very so he can turn up, he might not turn up. So it's quite good. Exactly, exactly. So obviously I've been training at the Mayweather gym now for I just came back here in January, so just a month now. Um I started training here for my last fight um with OS Pimpleton, my trainer. And um, you know, this year I literally had no idea I was going to spar him. Um, how it came about was I was, you know, my mom's here, my family's here. I was going to bring them along to the gym to watch so they could watch me train. And, uh, my mom, pre uh, sorry, Otis texts me saying, uh, Floyd's going to be at the gym. You know, Otis is a very straightforward person, very simple texting. He, all he told me was Floyd is at the gym today at this time. Make sure you're here. So I was like, yep, yeah, of course I'm going to. Of course, I'm going to be there. You know, I want to show up, make sure I'm looking nice so he can see. You know, I, was, I thought I was going to hit some pads with Otis and he'll be there in the background watching or, you know, something like that. Something simple like that. And then I get to the gym. He's obviously got like 20, 30 people with him. Like he's always walking around with like loads of people. And, uh, you know, everyone's in the gym. They're all, uh, they're all surrounded around the ring. I wasn't sure what was going on. I thought maybe he was sparring or something. I was like, are you ready? And I was like, ready for what? What am I doing? And he's like, you're about to just do some rounds with, with Floyd. And I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. So literally as I get in the gym, wrapping up my hands, no warm-up, no nothing. I didn't have time to stretch out. I didn't have time to do anything he's already got all his gear on he's ready to go and um and next thing i know i'm in the ring and uh it's kind of crazy i had i just went from thinking it was a normal just training day doing some pads doing some you know light light stuff to then actually sparring the greatest fighter you know boxer in the world so that's gonna be that definitely kind of surreal. That's gonna be the, definitely the best person you shared the ring with, correct? Oh, mate, a hundred percent. I don't think I'll be able to share the ring with a greater. There, there is no greater person I could think of. Hmm. Okay. But talking about sort about spa, it was four rounds. I guess three minutes. How long yeah. was in between? Just one minute off or a couple of minutes? Um. So we didn't even go by the bell. He trains by just timer on his phone i think the rounds were there was like a three minute for two three minute rounds two four minute rounds the rest i i don't even know i think 30 seconds maybe mm. um but honestly it was it was crazy i had like i'm telling you i literally had no idea i was i was doing that and my brother had just flown in that day to vegas and i told him yeah floyd's gonna be at the gym um, I'm trying to get there as quick as possible. So I got to the gym. He gets there and he's like, he sees Floyd in the ring. He sees, he sees that he's about to spar someone, and he's like, who, who is he sparring? And then he sees my face in the corner, and it's so funny. We got it on video, and his face is just like, what the fuck is going on? Type shit. Um, but yeah, honestly, those that was the most fun I've had in the ring in a long time. Even though I was getting battered about. And he was just, he was just bullying me essentially the whole, the whole time talking shit. Um, I had so much fun. It was just a great experience. What did you learn from that? Um, a lot of things I learned, you know, I, there's things that I know that I should be doing that I don't do. And, um, I could definitely see watching that footage back that I was nervous. You could, you could tell I was nervous. I was like loading up all my shots i was very tense and you know tight i wasn't really uh flowing and um i guess that is just because i'm sparring floyd mayweather mm. um usually <laughs> it's a little different usually i'm just sparring not the greatest in the world not a 50 and no boxer <laughs> well, normally, you'll normally be sparring kind of an amateur boxer or kind of an early prospect professional not yeah not one of the greatest bosses yeah, yeah not the undefeated champion in the world yeah 
But go back to the mental side of things. Surely that gives you a massive boost, confidence to your next bar. And then eventually- oh, 100%. Yeah. I'm about to go to the gym after this. I think I've got sparring today. And, you know, I just sparred Floyd May- Mayweather. What can't, what can't I do now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's the mindset it gives you, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, yeah. No, for sure. 100%.